Greetings, you are watching Dugin's Guideline. Today we will be discussing the phenomenon of transhumanism. The trend of transhumanism is gaining popularity across the world, first and foremost in the West, where it originated. Its symbol is a circle with the letter H for human and the plus sign H+. Plus. The supporters of this trend enthusiastically accept all modern technology and take the idea of progress to its logical conclusion. In their opinion, the enhancement of the technology is leading humanity to a state in which more perfect beings can be artificially created out of the human species. This is to be achieved by refining all parts of the human body by means of replacing them with artificial attachments that are indistinguishable from body parts and the internal organs. This includes the technological simulation of consciousness or registration of consciousness in different receivers, the cartography or mapping of the brain. The latest discoveries in the genome structure allow organisms to be corrected and their quality to be enhanced on a fundamental level. H plus is a new level of humanity which will be free from disease, imperfections and will ultimately achieve physical immortality. The body will be able to be changed or corrected and at some point even printed by 3D printers. Virtual networks will become humans' new habitat and will gradually come to completely replace our normal reality. Compared to H+, the utopias uh, or dystopias of the lawnmower man or matrix will become something archaic and overcome. Transhumanism is not simply a pastime for eccentrics, designers or technological progress fanatics. It is the result of the last few centuries over the course of which humanity has come to seriously believe in the myth of progress and evolution. H plus is the final logical conclusion of the modern era of modernity. The main idea of modernity was liberating man from any and all constraints. First, they started with religion, tradition and case society, and then they fell the state and nation in favor of civil society. Then they abolished the normative view of gender and the normal family, legalizing the most diverse forms of gender mutations and perversions. And all of this took place against the backdrop of the technological development of new form of production, computers and advances in programming and the synthesis of new materials. Ideology and technology gradually merged into something one and indivisible. Technological progress has become an ideological factor and ideology has in turn become nothing other than technology. Hence, the replacement of classical political forms with spin doctors. Now we have come to the final phase of humanity's liberation from its limitations. In the West, there is already no longer any religion, political hierarchies, normal families or state in the fullest sense of the word. All borders have been completely crossed, transgressed. Now all that remains is one final step, overcoming the boundaries of the human species itself. This is 
age plus, the last word of liberalism. Transhumanism is no bizarre side product of technological development. It is the logical end of the modern age. According to modernity, we were supposed to reach the age of cyborgs, hybrids, mutants and chimeras, and now we have arrived. Of course, the worst majority of humanity today are not ready to become cyborgs or mutants, but no one asked the majority of mankind. All history is made by elites. The masses are never ready for anything, but this means absolutely nothing. They are not ready, they are being prepared, and no one even notices. Transhumanism is inevitable if we accept the main trend of the modern era, faith in progress, development and the betterment of humanity. This religion, or rather pseudo-religion of progress, was introduced to Europe and the world by the Enlightenment. This heresy gradually replaced or pushed into the periphery all traditional forms of religion, first and foremost Christianity. It is impossible to stop halfway on this path of progress. Saying A, we have to say B, C, D, and all other letters of the alphabet. H plus is the last letter. Henceforth, only computer language begins. The only ones who are on the opposite side of posthumanism are consistent and fundamental traditionalists. They reject not only the final mutation, but all of modernity, the very idea of progress and development, the scientific image of the world and democracy and liberalism. Instead, traditionalists affirmed and affirm God, church, empire, caste, power and folk customs. Not progress. The modern world is not progress, but the result of absolute decline. It is the kingdom of the Antichrist, fighting against H+, to reject the final transformation dictated by the very logic of the liberal ideology of modernity, while still accepting other aspects of modernity, is meaningless. Transhumanism is the inevitable tomorrow if we agree with what our today is. If we want to change our fate, we must go back in time and understand where we committed the fatal mistake. All the best! You've been watching Dugin's guideline on transhumanism. Holy teachings assert that the devil is capable of almost everything but he cannot create man. He can only make a parody of man or manufacture his simulacrum. H plus is clearly a scheme of his. Okay.